And this is Master Coordinator Joanne Nistico and my husband Terry Coakley. Good evening. Here, and uh, we're very excited about have hosting this webinar, Zoom webinar this evening because it's being done by a very special friend of ours, Master Coordinator Marty Frederick. And the topic this evening is uh, diversifying your income. Many Shackley people fall in love with the product and they are so passionate about the product, they forget that one of the best products that we have is our business opportunity and model. My husband Terry and myself are examples of the ability to be able to have a plan B, a retirement income that is very stable, secure, and outstanding. And when Dr. Shackley started the Shackley Company, he started it with that in mind. He wanted to help the average person be able to have a sustainable and strong income by promoting better health and protecting the environment. So we're very privileged to have Marty be our guest speaker this evening and he'll be sharing information with you that is very important. So I hope you have a notepad with you and a pen and pencil and, and that you'll be able to also share this, duplicate it by sharing the same information with others. We will have it recorded and posted on the genassociates.org um, bulletin board that we host so that you'll be able to re-listen to it. So without further ado, let's uh, bring on Master Coordinator, Marty Frederick. Welcome, Marty. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello. I'm, I'm going to pull up these slides here and bear with me. Okay, is everyone able to see this? The five minutes? Yes. You're good. Okay, great, great. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to one thank you, Joanne, for that uh, very nice introduction. I appreciate it. We are very good friends, and I feel privileged to have that. That's really awesome. And Scott, it's great to meet you, and I appreciate your help here. And uh, look forward to many more years together, Joanne and Terry. And Scott too, and and I have Denise on. I don't know, Denise, can you hear me? And are you open to talking and being the guinea pig? I can hear you. I'm not sure my mic's open. Yes, we hear it's you. Open. Oh, okay. Great, great, great. Mary's well, here too now. I see. Hi, Mary. Oh, great. We got another one. So anyway, uh, Denise has been through this before, so she knows some of the answers before I ask them. But uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Let's, let's, let's just give you an understanding of what I did here. Um, the five minutes to freedom concept is fundamentally very basic. If you, once you capture the basic understanding of, of the business, then really it's just a lot, uh, consistently doing the same things over and over, introducing and inviting and sharing the concept and building an organization. And we're gonna, I'm gonna try to paint a picture here so that you understand the concept. But everybody has a story, and I, and I will share my story. And I'm going to share a little bit about how the company came to, came to be. And then I'm going to share how our current owner uh, selected our company and, and a little bit about his vision. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to see what I believe is the first step towards looking into the total picture of Shackley. So we're going to sort of hit the, the tip of the iceberg uh, through, this, through this sharing model. Uh, I call this the concept presentation because basically we're, we're capturing the base understanding of how the business model works and what it can mean to you. So to start with my story, all of us who come into Shackley have, have a story. Uh, Joanne's got a story, Terry, Scott, Denise, everybody has a story. But uh, my story began back in 1969 when my dad took a fall. He punched a hole in his head about the size of a silver dollar, a little larger, and he knocked the bone fragments into his brain, and it made a manic depressive, psychotic. They diagnosed him with abnormal brain waves, and they put him on four drugs. One of them was dilantin for seizures. And over the next two years, I watched a healthy man slowly deteriorate to the point he was sitting in front of the TV with the doors closed 
and uh, he couldn't drive and he couldn't walk. So, Denise, I know you've had some health issues in that, so maybe you'll relate to some of this. But uh, we ruled out the aspect of uh, the psychological aspect because whatever my mother put in front of him, my father basically would eat. And the neurosurgeon had prescribed the multivitamin because he didn't feel he'd be eating properly or enough. And my dad had been taking lecithin prescribed by an old physician back in the early 40s for hardening the arteries. Uh, and basically back then it was granulated lecithin. It wasn't uh, tablets or anything. And so those were the only supplements that he was doing. Now my mother was a bookkeeper in an auto dealership. And when we came out at Christmas in 1971, and, hello, <laughs> And I got out of the car, and uh, my dad came out to greet me. He had a hard hat on. And when he took the hard hat off, I got to see the wound. And I'll tell you, it upset me so much, I had to go lay down on the couch. And after a little bit, I collected myself, and I took my mother in the other room, and I just told her that I felt she should get the paperwork. I, can, I didn't think he was going to be around much longer. No, I can't talk right now. Well, after we left, uh, my mother went back to work in the auto dealership and came out of the office one day into the coffee shop. And nobody was around, but a few minutes later, in walks this lady with a walker. And she comes right over to the table my mom was at and sat down and they started chatting. And the subject of my dad came up. And she says, I don't know if this would help him, but I've been a polio victim for most of my life and my husband's had to do everything for me. But since I've been taking the uh, Shakely products, she couldn't say the word right, uh, she said that uh, it's taken a year, but I can get around with the walker and drive my car now where I couldn't do any of that before. She says, maybe if you would consider changing brands from the multi that you had in the lecithin to the protein that had lecithin in it to, yeah, and swap it out, then maybe uh, we help them. And the least that's going to happen is that it's guaranteed. So my mother did get the products. She started giving it to my father. In the previous two years, each quarter, dad had to go in for brainwave tests. And each quarter, they had raised his medications. And this time, in March of 1972, there was no change. Uh, you can star six and mute yourself, I believe, or Scott can mute you out, or you can mute yourself, just so we don't get the background noise in the in the recording. Anyway, uh, he went in for the exam, and the doctor did the exam, and there was no change. And the doctor uh, told my mother, he says, you know, when people are rallying like this, they, they it's a a sign that really he's getting ready to check out. And that's the way she left the doctor's office. And in June, when they came back for the next uh, brainwave exam, first the doctor was uh, surprised that dad was there, figuring that he probably wasn't even gonna be living that long. And after he did the exam, he didn't say a word, but he grabbed my mother by the arm, he took her into his office, he closed the door behind him, he says, lady, Whatever you're doing, don't quit. Based on what I'm seeing here, I believe he's going to be off all the meds in about a year. And uh, I get a call about six months later, and dad's off the meds. And, of course, the call also says, you got to come out and hear about this shapely stuff. Well, that piqued my interest. It didn't pique my ex-wife's interest, but we went out, and I saw my dad, and I had my dad back. So uh, there was something to it. And the only thing they changed was the addition of the shackling, having taken the other supplements for two years or more. So uh, there had to be some value to it. So I don't know if anybody's been dragged to a meeting, but the next night there was a meeting my mother asked me to go to. So I figured I'd clean my wallet out, clip my nails, sit in the back of the room, say nothing but love my mom. <laughs> so... My dad didn't go, my ex didn't go, but what I heard at that meeting is that I could buy it at a discount, it was guaranteed, and I didn't have to sell it. So besides getting to try it, using the guarantee, I could still keep my marriage. 
So anyway, I used the products coming back from uh, New Mexico to Illinois. And I used the products from when I was out there all the way through until about November that year. And a teacher comes up to me and he says, Marty, what are you doing? And I go, why? And he says, well, your personality's changed. I even like you now. So, <laughs> Marty, so, what were you doing uh, then, Marty? What was your uh, profession? Oh, I was a teacher. And uh, I was going to explain that. That's the next part of this conversation here is that uh, – I didn't know how to, to help this guy because he asked me, get the products for me. And I says, well, I don't know how to do it. He says, well, uh, find out and call him back. So I called my mom. She didn't know. She called the polio victim. That lady didn't know. She called the guy she got it from. I didn't, uh, and he called me and, and helped me get this guy as, sponsored as a member and to get him the products. Meanwhile, I'm coaching, I'm teaching, I've been an athlete, i have been training for the Olympics, I've never taken anything like this. Uh, I wasn't even, my head wasn't even in it. I was working on my master's degree and I intended to teach college. But I was feeling better, I was staying up longer, my attention was better and I was less stressed out after working with the kids and teaching all day. But what was happening is that friends were coming over the house. They were seeing this stuff out and they started to ask me about it. Told the story of my dad and how it helped him, that it was guaranteed I was using it. And they said, well, get it for me. And a month or two later, I got an envelope in the mail. And in the envelope, I opened it up and here it's a bonus check from Shackle. Now it was only $4.52, which doesn't sound, sound like a lot, but my mortgage was only $100 back in, in 73. So, uh, it was something for me, but I, I, I didn't capture, it didn't dawn on me what I had. I was working on that master's and I intended to finish it and I intended to teach college. So over the next two and a half years, I did that and I never told anybody about Shackley, but the teacher was sponsoring people and they were sponsoring people and my friends were asking to help this friend and that friend and stuff like that. So we were just sharing the products and uh, the philosophy behind it and the guarantee. So we built a small income and it was starting to pay for our products. And when I finished my master's, I went and interviewed to teach college. And I had two job offers and they offered me half as much as what I was making in the public school system. So that was very disappointing to me. And I decided, well, there's got to be something better. So I thought I'd look at corporate life. So I had three job offers with corporate life. And Terry, you know about this. They offered me a nice increase from what I was doing in teaching, but it was like 90% travel. And all I saw was either no life or no income. So anyway, I uh, said, well, that's not working. And just about the same time, there was a franchise show that came into Chicago, one of the first I'd ever heard of, and McDonald's was doing good back then. So I decided to go to the franchise show, and I went right to the McDonald's booth, and I said, I want a franchise. And they said, well, you got to have a half million bucks up front and a half million bucks in the bank. <laughs> now, I'm a teacher with a master's. I'm qualified for food stamps, and I got duct tape in my car. <laughs> so that didn't work. So I said, there's got to be something in here for me. So I ran up and down the aisles. I looked at everything. And when I got through at the end of the day, when I looked at it, I saw – I'm going to take my hard-earned money, I'm going to go into debt, and I'm going to buy myself a job. I'm going to have to work 24-7. That didn't appeal to me at all. Uh, so I came home disgruntled for that, and I crawled into bed that night, and I kicked something under the bed. And you remember the big green Jackley distributor bags we used to get back then? Yes. I never opened it. I pulled it out. I pulled the manual out. I took it out of its wrapping, and I opened it up, and the first thing I see is car. You can get a car. And I go, duct tape, car, duh. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and it dawned on me. I said, okay, I'm not doing anything. What if I did something? Now, there's no one. There's no tapes. There's no videos. There's no Zoom. There's none of this. There's no teacher, anybody around. I'm in Illinois. My parents are in New Mexico. Nobody knew anything. So, but I read through the manual and I saw this man named Dr. Shackley. 
And the story of Dr. Shackley is he sat around a table with five or six people and told this story. I said, well, if he can do that, I can do that. So that's what I did. I went across to the neighbor and I called my best friend. My best friend signed up on the phone and my neighbor said, okay, I'll open the door for you. Because I said to him, I said, here, I got this check. Products are guaranteed. It helped my dad. And if you're interested, I'll come in and, and show you how it works. And he says, good. So when I said that, I said, well, as long as you're going to do that, if you want to invite a friend or two over and they come over, if they like what they hear, then maybe they'll join on board and then I can help you get a check too. And that's the way I started the business. And I set a goal. I didn't know what goals were, but in track and field as an athlete, I knew where the goal line was and I knew what I needed to do to get there. So I figured, well, what did it take to get the car? And I found out that I needed 5,000 in volume to get the car. Maybe scratch right there. So I divided, you want me to scratch it, Joey? <laughs> scratch your back there. <laughs> so anyway, I, uh, I calculated out, I divided that by 50 because I figured that these customers that I had, they were using about 50 points each. And I figured, well, that, maybe that's the average. So I divided it out and I figured I needed 100 people as members in the organization in order to do the 5,000. So my goal was to go out and do that. Now I, I put out there a goal to do this within 12 months. And in 90 days, we doubled my teaching income. So it was, and I knew right then and there. So then I decided to take a sabbatical and I figured, well, if I could, why work if I'm making twice as much? So I took a sabbatical and I figured, well, if the company blows up or flies away, then uh, I still got a job I can go back to. So we did that for a year. Now, during I lear also learned that uh, in getting the car, it used to be the, the pregnancy period, nine months in order to qualify for that car, and nine months to get the trip to San Francisco to the new director's conference. And I wanted to meet Dr. Shackley. So we worked and we qualified to get to San Francisco. We got our car. And as soon as I got out there, I ran out and met Dr. Shackley, and I told him the story of my dad and how I thought Shackley saved my dad's life. And Dr. Shackley put his arm around me. He says, son, it's not Shackley, it's nature. And I'll tell you, that went right to my heart. I knew right then and there I was part of something significant, that this company was different. And I decided at that time to submit my resignation, go full-time in his business and make it work. And from that point on, we grew this business. Now, Dr. Shackley, I wanted to know more about Dr. Shackley's because I was gonna, if I was going to do this, I wanted to know as much as I could about the company. And I learned about Dr. Shackley that he was a young man, a child actually, and he had a disease called consumption. And Denise, do you remember what consumption is? Wasn't it tuberculosis? Yes. <laughs> Yes, sir. and the average lifespan for a child with tuberculosis was four years. So he he got to live, and he became a champion boxer and wrestler. And he went on to uh, start pursuing and trying to figure out what he wanted to do. Now, I don't know what you did, Denise, when you started to work towards your career path, but uh, he went out and he chose to pursue helping people. And there were two basic avenues back then that were designed being, being brought forth to help people. One was medicine, it was just starting to evolve. But what Dr. Shackley told us is that he saw in medicine is that they were trying to cure the fact after the problem. And there was another vehicle called chiropractic that BJ Palmer had just started, and that dealt with the whole body. So he went ahead and decided to pursue that. So he followed Dr. the chiropractor and he developed his own clinic. He developed a hospital and that. And along the way, he researched. He became a student of nature when he was a, a sickly child. And in the middle of the field, just observed and studied and read and listened. And uh, through that, he, he took what his mother was giving him and from her garden and from what they ate from the croplands. And he put it together in a formulation he called Vitalized Minerals. 
and that became the very first multivitamin in history. So on the market, and, and basically he launched and pioneered this wellness industry that we know today. So what do you think of that, Denise? Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really cool. Yeah. So he, he went on then and used this through his practice. And the hospital, the, the practice burnt down, so he decided to pick up his family and go to the West Coast. Because there he thought that he could grow his crops and get his raw materials uh, 365 days a year. Different from the Midwest with the seasons and that. Well, to get to the West Coast, he needed something to carry his family, so he created this thing we know today as an RV. So he had a role in pioneering that industry, and he needed tires that would get out, get out to California. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot today, but my father was in the auto trade business, auto uh, repair business, and he told me the story of driving from Chicago to Indianapolis back in the 20s when he had to change all four tires to get there. So the kind of rubber that they had was just not very good. So Dr. Shackley formulated his own tires. Well, Alva Edison and Harvey Firestone heard about this and asked him to come down and visit him and bring that vehicle. And they became fast friends. So Dr. the point I'm going here is Dr. Shackley was a very creative, entrepreneurial, uh, intelligent individual. And he understand all the facets of nature and he applied them. Well, anyway, fast forward to this back in 1956. He had already established a strong, solid practice. He had uh, substantial uh, economic strength and was being offered form, uh, money for his formulations. But he didn't want to sell them off because he knew corporate America historically back then would be breaking down the formulas for profit. Have you ever heard of that, Denise? Um, no, I hadn't heard that. <coughs> well, corporations are interested in the bottom line, and Dr. Shackley was interested in helping people. So there's a unique difference between our company and what's out there. So he got together with his two sons. One of them was in operations, and one of them was in sales, and they formulated and launched Shackley Corporation. And with that, they moved forward, and by 1977, they were dying at Wall Street, the second fastest growth company in the nation. But to get there, Dr. Shackley needed a field uh, sales force in order to market his products. So he had a uh, company uh, named Mutual of Omaha draw up a compensation plan. And that compensation plan was brought to Dr. Shackley and the sons. They looked at it. And it was the traditional plan that was oriented towards top-heavy profits toward the corporation. And Dr. Shackley tore it up and fired him, and he and his two sons created uh, an entire industry, which we know today as network marketing. And the whole concept behind that is that Dr. Shackley wanted that 50 cents and a dollar or so that would go to the profits of the corporation or to advertising to be given back to those were the people who were using the products and were telling the story. So he allowed us to wear all those hats, and this business model that he created is what drove uh, the corporation's success up to 1977. Uh, in 1986, Dr. Shackley passed. Uh, a friend of his who helped him launch Shackley Japan came to the brothers and wanted to perpetuate the Shackley philosophy and and research and all that, and offered to buy the company from the brothers. The brothers had two sons that had passed, so there was no heirs, so they sold the company. Over the next decade, this company doubled the R&D and created many new products in that. And then the, at the end of that decade, there was a young man named Roger Barnett. So the whole concept of moving forward in this business that Dr. Shackley shared with us to move through this brick wall to give us this concept of residual income, this young man, Roger Barnett, was looking. He understood that, that concept, and he, had, he was a very successful multi-billionaire by the time he was 38. 
and he charged his staff and he spent $20 million in five years looking for what he, what, what, what he called the perfect company. And during the course of that time, he found this industry called network marketing. And within the industry, uh, his whole goal, his mother was a philanthropic attorney. So he had this model of giving back uh, from his mother and his uncle. And he wanted to be able to do the same. So he was looking at a company where he could do well, but also do good. And when he found this network marketing industry, he found a company called Shacklin. Now, there were other companies that he had looked at, but none of them came up to the status that Shackley had. And one of the aspects of Shackley is that uh, was trends. Now, a businessman like him looking to buy companies looks for a company that has a position of some level of strength in at least one trend. When he found Shackley, he found a company that had strength in five trends. In fact, today's this industry is over $360 billion. Now, Denise, when you look at this, if we look at this from a business perspective, and you walked in the grocery store and you looked at all those products, if you received a percentage of every purchase that was made in that store coming into your household, would that have some impact on your lifestyle? Oh, yeah, lots. Oh, yeah. Now, if you could be a player in those five trends, does that sound like something that you'd like to be part of? Yeah. Yeah. So you can see the numbers here in the industry from Healthy Foundations, Solutions, Weight, Beauty, and, and obviously a healthy home. It's all about health, and that's what Dr. Shackley is. Coming out of the middle of that field, creating a philosophy we know today is in harmony with nature and making sure that every product Shackley produces must benefit a cell, can't harm a cell. So that's unique to the industry as well. And I want to try to give you some understanding of that by looking at this, this chart called which products to use. So can you see it? Yes. Okay. Well, the little boxes on the left, if we were to just walk down those boxes, I'm sure you can see, if you look at the sheet, that you're using some of these products. Is that a fair statement? Uh, yep, that's a fair statement. Okay. Well, if you would use this as a grocery list and you went to the grocery store, how many of those products could you say would verifiably be safe for your health, safe for the environment, would improve your health, would protect the environment, would be clinically proven to do those things, and would be unconditionally guaranteed by your own admission if you didn't want, want to use them. You could get your money back. How many of those products in the store do you think you can fall under that criteria? I don't know that you could say any of them. Okay. From a store, yeah. So you said you wanted to participate in the, in the trends. Now, here's your chance. Even in a membership in here, that's the first benefit that you get is the protection of your health and your environment. So how does that make you feel when you think about that? Yeah, I don't even think about it sometimes when you go to the store, how smelly the grocery, uh, the cleaner aisle is. Yeah. Avoid it. Yeah. Well, now, can you guess how what the average household spends on these types of products? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, what a week or a, a month the average household per month i'm sorry uh probably about 150 dollars okay well the average is 250 to 350 oh so easy so that easy. yeah <coughs> easy so here's what's here's what's uh interesting to this this is a business about not convincing or selling is that good for you? Yep, yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a business of redirecting your purchasing from Brand X to Shackley to get that healthier, better product and telling other people about the good news. Are you comfortable with something like that? Yeah, if you don't have to sell it, just talk to them. Yeah, well, that's cool. Okay, well. Let's give you a little idea how this works here. I'm going to show you the concept here. I'm going to paint some numbers for you. 
way of saying. So now, this could be month one, it could be day one, it could be you know week one, whatever. <clears throat> we talked about the uh, 250 to 350 average. You said about 150. That's about five bucks a day, right? Yeah. So you probably have five dollars a day that you can choose to spend how you want. Would that be a fair statement? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> But here, you don't have to spend the money uh, on just Fufu if you redirect the purchasing from Brand X to Shackley and do. Well, I lost the mic. Can't hear you. Somebody muted me. Yeah, he was going to say, now I hear you. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. It's a ghost out here. <laughs> so, did you hear that part about the 100? No. <laughs> well, Nothing after the 150, yeah. Okay, Nothing. so the $5 a day, $150. That would also include tax and shipping to get these 100 points. And the points are just points that are assigned to every product that accumulate from the first of the month to the end of the month. Okay. So the goal is, is that you do 100 points under your name through the home office. And the unique thing about this as a distributor is that it sets you up to earn bonus. Okay. So you can get paid to use the products. How would that sound? Yeah, nice. That's true. <laughs> So now you agree that we all we have to do is share the story. So that person on the left that has 25 in there, uh, that represents they bought something. Okay, uh -huh. so that's a call. Marty. Yes. We're not we're not seeing any slide, or I'm not. Is anybody else seeing a slide here? No. We're not seeing that slide. Wait, there it, it's down. It. It, it's a little low. Okay, I see it now. Way right down right. at the bottom. Got it. Okay. Okay. You can see it, Denise. Yes, I can see it. It's, okay. Yeah, it's at the bottom. Great. Well, Joanne, the important person's looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it. I see it now. There you go. Good. All right. So the 25 represents customers, and you can bring as many customers on for the rest of your life and continue to build a consumer base. So in essence, without you having the store, you could have the people going through your store and buying products. Would that be cool? Yeah. That'd be really cool, right? Mm -hmm. And what's really neat is that that person can bring on their mother, their sister, their kids, their family, their neighbors, and whatever, and that can go to infinity. Mm -hmm. So that thing can grow exponentially as long as you're willing to tell the story consistently. Cool? Lost you again. Can you hear me now? Now I can. I move my mouse and then it, it does something. Well, anyway, okay. So now, the little model that I'm building here is called the Power of One. And what I'm going to show you is the concept of the business. And Dr. Shackley said, use the products and see the people. Mm -hmm. now, the second house that you see with 100 in there would be somebody that you shared the business model with who said, you know, Denise, I'd like to earn a bonus too, and I'd like to get paid for using the products, and uh, so I'm going to join and duplicate what you do. So the $25 to the left of them represents their customers. So now what's happening is that you're starting to leverage yourself. You got your own little group, they got their own little group. So it's sort of like you now, you go to the Jewel or the grocery store and you own that store and then you tell a friend about it and they go build their own store but you get a piece of the action. How's that? Is yeah. that cool? Cool. <laughs> that's cool, right? Yep. Okay, so that's the first month. So if we total this up, we got 250 points here. Now, it could be a lot more, 
But the reason I put 250 is that's where Shackley pays the bonus. So you need 100 to be eligible. Mm -hmm. You need to have 250 either buy it yourself or have a group with your partner and customers creating the balance of the of the 100, bringing it up to 250, and then Shackley's going to pay you a bonus. Okay. Is that cool? Yep. Now you're probably wondering what the little word uh, numbers in there AS stand for. Yeah. Uh, have you ever gone to the store and forgot your grocery list? Yes. Or forgot something on the list? Never. <laughs> no, geez, yes. <laughs> well, AS stands for auto shipment. And that's a simple convenience that Shackley provides us that we can opt in to utilize. But we encourage the business builders, the people doing the 100, to utilize the auto shipment for their 30-day use products. And the logic is, is real simple. If you built a lot of these people in organization at volume, let's say that volume was 25,000, you would not want to not do your 100 and lose that bonus. Would you agree? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, if you put 100 points on auto shipment, the good news is with Shackley is that you can adjust the delivery date on that throughout the month, and you can change the products up to add or subtract or however you want, anytime you want during the course of that month. Is that cool? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So now we're going to go into, let's say we duplicate the second month. So the second month, there you are, and you got your partner that you brought in, and What's happened here is that you're down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. The goal is to bring on one person a month. And we said if we shared the story, we'd probably have people that would want to join or participate in this. But what you're looking is for these people that will do at least 100 points themselves and will tell other people. In other words, teach others to teach others. Mm -hmm. So if we add up all four of the business leaders plus their customers, we come up with 500 points, right? Yeah. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Here's what's unique about this. You haven't done any more than your 100. You haven't sold or convinced anybody, but you just doubled your bonus through leveraging your organization and them leveraging their organization. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time your income doubled? <laughs> In a while. <laughs> In a while, okay. <laughs> Here's another perk here that we didn't talk about. There are tax advantages. When you become a distributor, you now own this company and you become eligible for all the tax advantages that a major corporation would have. And I'll tell you right now, through 45 years of experience, that the tax advantages would be worth a minimum, a minimum, of covering the cost of your product of those hundred points. So how much of those products cost you then? I'm sorry, I missed what you said. They, <clears throat> the tax, just the tax benefits alone would save you your products and they'd be free. There you go. Free. It's free good? Free's good. Free's good. So <laughs> instead of going to the store and have to shell out money for those products on the list, you're now buying from your own company and the Shackley's paying you for using the products and for sharing it with other people. So it's a sweet deal, isn't it? Yeah, sounds like it. It's very easy to teach, too. It's very easy to copy. In addition to that perk there, there's also other cash incentives that come into play that we're not going to talk about. So I just wanted you to know there's more money in here than what we're talking about. Okay. Now, Cash, cars, and trips. Which of those do you not want? <laughs> not want? Oh, I'll take them all. <laughs> You'll take them all. So if someone paid for your car, you'd be good with that, right? Sure. In the cash by the fifth month, if we multiply this concept out, 100, you find one person a month, and your 100 partners find one person a month. By the time we get to the fifth month, you're going to be earning the car, you're going to be earning cash, probably enough to cover your, your mortgage, maybe your retirement, maybe your kid's college. And you're going to be, at this stage, if we did it sequentially in time, you could be earning some trips. All expenses paid for you and your spouse. Would that be cool? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep. 
So there you go, piles of it. <laughs> I like that, the middle one especially. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so now we come to the 10th month. Put your calculator hat on. Can you figure what kind of residual annual income this numeric power of one concept you finding one a month with your team each finds one a month, what that would be worth to you by the 10th month? Oh, it's late. No. <laughs> Don't let me help. help me out, Marty. Would you believe that? Whoa. For the 10 months? By the time you get to the 10th month, your annual, your monthly income would add up over the course of 12 months to give you that type of residual income wow. going forward. Would that be cool? Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Are you perfect? No. <laughs> I know I'm not. Uh, one master coordinator was asked, well, that's all nice. You make that money. That's, that's crazy. That's not true. And he's, how did you make all the money you made? And he said, well, I failed 67% of the time. Hmm. I don't like the word failure, but all that means is that averages out 67% uh, of the time people didn't step up to the plate. Okay. The timing wasn't right. But if we, we earn 33% of that, would that be good for you? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. So the, here's the point. Nobody fails in this business. Everybody wins who consistently follows the process and shares the story. Because people's timing will say, this is a match for me, I want to join you. Uh -huh. so not everyone is going to have the timing right, but you will accumulate a team. I wanted to evaluate that the 100 is true in fact. And I talked about the power of one. And that means that we would have at least one leg that would be duplicating the process. And I wanted to give you an example of one of our legs. And if you look at the lower right-hand corner, can you read the amount down there in the lower right-hand corner, the very far right? $10,881.04. Yeah, okay. Now, would that monthly income impact your livelihood? Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. Okay. That's just one leg. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you had two or three or five or seven or ten of those. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the point here. We don't want to pay pie in the sky. The reality is, is that the opportunity is laid before you. All it is is up to you to implement the action to move in this direction. Mm -hmm. The neat thing about this company that Dr. Shackley saw in the, in the beginning is that you don't work by yourself. It's a team effort. So you're going to have the, my support to help you move forward. Does that work for you? Yeah. And if, I, if we find people downline you, I'll help them, which will help you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's neat that you do that. You don't just make me be out here by myself. Good. Good. So it sounds like we've got something to move forward with is uh, – is there any level of interest that you have in participating here where you're at right now? Um, yeah, I think so. Probably need my husband to see it. Okay. Well, would you be open to uh, getting together with you and your hubby and we, we walk through this again and then decide where we want to go from there? Yeah, is that the next step? That would be the next step, yes. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, well then all I would ask then is that we get our our phones out and set a time to, to do that and coordinate that. Okay. So now the question is, is that we're done with this presentation, Joanne. I don't know if anybody has any questions. But, uh, uh, let's, let's open it up and, and see. If, uh, Denise. Mar Marty Frederick. All lines are open. Okay, does anyone have, uh, Marty, what I love about this is that it's kind of like the principle, if you save a penny a day, you know, what would you end up with? You know, or you, you save a penny um, and the, the power of exponential growth on just one. Right, you double a penny a day. Right. 
And by the and 30th, what it, 30th day. And what happens is people, uh, the reason why you have a large organization and that we do is because we just kept following a simple principle like that. Right. And that's what it boils down to is a simple principle. That's the business model called network marketing and allows us to create that that Dr. Shackley gave us. So, and the other nice thing about this is you can diversify your income without having to give up what you're doing while you're trying and you're working to build this. So you don't have to give up your life to do this. I chose to leave teaching and do this because of the success I had in those 90 days and because I was very, very career disturbed. And I didn't know I could fail. I only saw that, that I could, if I did the number, the number to pay off. Marty, would you also say that in building your business, and we've been talking about this with our teams, and, and I know that you follow the same principle. We didn't just talk product. We talked duplication and building a business. So we talked about the opportunity with everyone. Um, would you say that's a fair assessment of what you've done as well? Yes. Yeah, so we were taught from day one to tell the whole story. And the whole story was philosophy, product, and opportunity. So, and, the, and the reason is, is that everyone has their timing and their interest level and their beliefs level. And uh, you have to give them the opportunity to decide for themselves. I heard a long time ago, you know, someone says, well, uh, they may not be able to afford it. Well, it's never been my place to judge someone else's pocketbook. It's up to them to decide what's important and valuable to them. My job was to guarantee it, make it a win-win for all people involved so they had no risk. And Jack would get a blessing to be able to do that. Answer your question, Joy? Yes, yes. So, you know, you always share, for those on the call, and I think the majority of people on the call came on because they wanted to learn how to diversify their income, you know, have the plan B, create a career income in their part-time Many of us had other jobs when we first started our Shackley business and then built up a customer base um, to meet the requirements. And then by helping other people, we built our customer base in volume and then had shared the opportunity enough to duplicate ourselves so that we created a team of people who also wanted the same right. thing. So it's just a matter of continuing to share the opportunity. Uh, and I find most of the Shackley people who want a business can talk product, 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 but they have to work their business muscle a little bit more. And we've shared this, we've talked about this, sharing the opportunity more often. Well, let me just preface this. Uh, this presentation I've used individually and in group. And, but there's one aspect that we didn't do up front because of Den Denise is uh, one of our coordinators. And, uh, but I would do a form concept where I would try to discover about their interests, their needs, their wants. And I try to teach my people that it's always about them. And to find out about them, you have to ask questions. So I don't know about family. And I try to understand, you know, if they have children and, and then occupation, you know, do they like their job? Where are they at with their job? Are they working? Whatever, you know, are their kids involved in sports or activities? Are there any health issues in that? How do they, what's their feelings about health and, and wellness and about green products and environment? And what do they do for fun? And uh, if they, I'm looking for any special talents, I'm, I'm trying to hear their needs, their wants, their interests, their desires, so that I can discuss and craft that into this conversation, uh, the concept. And that has always worked well for us. And this type of presentation is, is almost a 99.9% success rate. So it's just uh, whatever level they may come on board, whether it's using the products, stipping, putting their toe in the water, trying to feel it out. Uh, the next step helps identify, you know, where they want to go with that. And then we get into strategy planning and then a little bit of training so they understand the business model in a simplistic form. So 
they can duplicate. And then it's all about doing it over and over and over. Let me ask you, uh, this has come up in some of our coaching calls, uh, for people who want to go on the cruise or who want to get the car and they want to double their income, what kind of activity level would you say uh, you would suggest for sharing the opportunity on a weekly basis? Well, it depends where they're starting from. If they're a brand new person out of the out of the out of the box starting today you have to look at the requirements so that they fully understand the business model and the compensation plan and what's required in order to get there and then you have to sort of build the team before you even build the team well, let's, let's say that everybody on this call uh, let me let me phrase it a little different in order to double your income or to increase your business in a quicker pace that I know many people want to do, what kind of activity level would you say is one appointment a day, five appointments a day? What would you say when you made Run for Master uh, was the kind of opportunity presentations we would say what you're doing each week? I know I'm putting you on, on the spot maybe, but just to give people, and some people like to know well, how many would I have to do in order to get that momentum going. Well, there's no set number, but when I went ran for the car to get the 5,090 days, uh, we did four presentations a week, and there was anywhere from two to six people around the table. Okay, well, that's that's realistic for someone to right. hear. You know what they might need to do if they want to run you know, run for the bigger picture career income right. or presentations a week with anywhere from two to six people at each presentation. Right. And I, uh, I was working full-time job driving in over an hour each way. Plus I was working on a master's plus I was coaching. So I had a full plate. I only had those four to six hours a week to invest, but I made them absolutely valuable and it was face-to-face -face time. It wasn't sitting in front and, of the computer. It was talking to people belly to belly. Right. And I want to uh, let everyone know on the call that Marty is a very successful coach in Shackley as well. His uh, One of his first level legs is Jennifer Glacken, uh, who's come in, who has a, is also a, a strong senior master coordinator. So the presentation you saw tonight um, is very valuable for developing and diversifying in, uh, your income. It looked simple. The model looked so incredibly simple and doable, but in practicing that, that's the kind of business that can create a master coordinatorship. It's a kind of business that can create $100,000 a year income plus benefits. So we will be having this presentation. It is recorded. We will have it available for people to review again and, and look at. Uh, Terry and I were looking at it very closely. The reason I couldn't see it was because I didn't realize that I had enlarged my screen, so it was expanding too much. <laughs> but I finally figured that out. And such a simple presentation and the story behind, uh, in front of the presentation was uh, worth gold because of the history, the heritage, setting the stage, creating the reason why Shackley is the most solid network marketing company out there, the most stable, the highest integrity company out there. And, uh, you know, it just is really a testament to all of us to have such strength there. So thanks, Marty. Thanks for your time, Marty. Yes. Just one final suggestion is that when I wanted to learn how to uh, tell the story, I listened to other people and I sat down with pencil and paper and I transcribed what I heard. And that helped me to craft what I wanted to do. And through all that education process, I learned that there's some fundamentals that make this business work. And, and, and people, when you're talking to them, are basically looking for three things. What's in it for me? How much does it cost? And can I do it? So in the millennials today are looking for experiences. They're looking to do something worthwhile, and they're looking for something that's going to help them with their 
long-term lifestyle. It's not about stuff. It's about helping others and, and building something that's worthwhile. So, and I think that's within most of us. So I try to address this conversation as you heard around that. So um, hopefully it helps all you guys. And I appreciate the opportunity to, to share with you, Joanne and Terry. Thank you so much. And Scott, thanks for your help. And Denise. <laughs> yes, thank you, Denise. And thank you all for joining us this evening. Looking forward to our another winning Wednesday in um, April. And thank you again, Mar Marty, very much. And our love to Lynn. All right. You guys take care. Good night. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay.